Pakistan, April 2023. The team of veterinary experts from Four Paws arrived in Karachi Zoo to examine and treat the deteriorating condition of 17-year-old African elephant Noor Jihan. It is not the first time the Four Paws team has taken care of Noor Jihan. In 2021, she received an initial vet check, revealing a number of health issues. A year later, Four Paws successfully carried out an unprecedented and complicated dental surgery. Unfortunately, earlier this year, Noor Jahan's condition worsened, requiring urgent help and medical care. Recent reports and images showed Noor Jahan in horrible deteriorating health condition. Four Paws was invited to conduct an emergency examination. So we're setting up all our equipment. So um, the drug, sedation, then we have ultrasound system, we have endoscopy to look into the vestibulum, and we also have x-ray and uh, thermal camera. So we prepared for everything and we'll see what we can apply so uh, to get an idea what, what is the reason. Huh? The team used a crane in order to perform a comprehensive examination under sedation. First of all, we sedated her but she was so weak that she went down and the, the, the breathing was heavily compressed. So she was laying down, she was ready to die. Reversed her right away and she got up, fortunately. And that, uh, therefore we <laughs> could examine her, but she was quite uh, excited, so without sedation. But even though we didn't transect the ultrasound and we found massive um, hematoma inside the pelvis, we found uh, bloated um, uh, intestinal loops with gas, so there was a bleeding and there is a, is a process which compressed the urethra and also stretching the ureters. So the kidneys we saw as well, they are compromised already. So it's not so so good, but um, we try we try uh, to, to give her some rest and try to take the, the pain away and give her some antibiotics and uh, then we will see how she is developing within the next days, weeks, and we hope there's a chance. I mean, the team noticed, and myself, we observed that the Nujan is in a better condition. I mean, not so far, but I think she's reacting well. And in the big enclosure here, I think the elephant is free, not chain. Uh, I think this is important in the next days uh, to improve the movement of Nujan. She needs to gain muscles again and strength again. Rojihan's condition improved following the mandatory recommendations for treatment and enrichment by Four Paws. However, a week after the Four Paws team left Karachi, they were informed by the zoo that Norjihan is laying in the pool and unable to get up by herself. The Four Paws team immediately provided instructions remotely on how to use a crane to lift Noor Jahan out of the pool and provide emergency medical treatment. We initiated immediately an urgent call, video call, with the team at the zoo. And it was clear then that uh, as soon as possible a crane has to be organised so that the elephant can be moved from the pool next to the tree under a shade. Unfortunately, the condition of Nurjahan didn't improve in the last uh, days. She is still very weak and unable to, to stay on her own feet. The team is organizing um, treatment, like medical treatment, infusion, vitamins, to give her energy and to give her the possibility to recover. Her condition remains critical and uncertain. Karachi Zoo is not equipped to take care of elephants, especially not for such an intensive care patient as Noor Jahan. But until the authorities make a decision on Noor Jahan's future, and as long as there is a chance that she can recover and doesn't give up, Four Paws will continue working hard to help her and ease her pain. We also continue to urge for the immediate transfer of Madhubala, the second African elephant left in Karachi Zoo to a more species appropriate home in order to prevent another tragedy due to the lack of proper care. Share this video to spread the word 
and click the link in the description to see how you can contribute today to animal welfare worldwide.